Okay, in this video, what we would like to I'd like to show you is how a count up works. Okay, now a counter up uh, instruction is very very useful for tracking products running by, um, uh, tracking data. All right, a ton of different uses for it. So let's go ahead and show you what I have set up here. So I have a basic start stop station which is going to run my conveyor. Uh, make my motor left, my conveyor move left. Okay, and I have a uh, proximity sensor hooked up to here, and my counter is in my timer counter bin. Now, the most common counter that we use is the count up, and it's really the only counter we use by itself. Now, counter information and its data is located in the C5 folder okay in the data table files so our our address starts off as C5 and then colon and then we have it we can pick uh, whatever number we want between 0 and 255 most people since it's the first counter in the program we hit 0 hit this will be counter C5 colon 0 and I'm gonna add my preset up I'm gonna take my preset up to 5 now if you if you've watched the timer videos that I have on here or are familiar with timers in RS Logics 500 you'll know that they operate pretty they're pretty similar to timers okay the accumulated will increment every time the input is activated until it gets to 5 then after that the timer is done the counter is done okay so let me show you how this works so I'm gonna go ahead and throw another rung in here do C5 colon 0 forward slash DN and then we'll just turn output on okay alright this will activate a little pilot light for us so let's go ahead and download and take a look at how this works I'm gonna come over here and activate my start stop station and you'll see that the motor will start to move to the right okay and as the product moves down this activates and you'll see that the counter went up one two three four Okay, now on the fifth one, my done contact from that counter will activate. And you see the pilot light right here came on. I can hit my stop button, turn my motor off, my pilot light is still lit there. Okay, now what you'll notice is, is that I did not add in a reset. And I didn't do that because I wanted you guys to see what would happen. Now, I have no way to reset this value, okay? So what I need to do is, anytime you have a counter, you need to add a reset in, okay? So we'll add a rung here, add this in. We'll make it uh, the middle green button, which is 12. Come back to your timers and counters. Now, this is the same reset that's used for the timers okay so again go, come over here grab our C5 drag this over this will allow us to automatically reset this okay when we're ready okay so I'll scoot this over make it a little uh, cleaner here and we will go ahead and download alright so this will operate the same way as before come over here activate this start and I know it says motor left but it's actually motor right or conveyor right so there's one and I won't make you guys watch this whole thing two three four five pilot light comes on okay now this will stay on until I activate the reset that resets it right here okay and that's one of the uh, that's an example of a, how a counter up is operated I can make a small modification here and I can add in an ex a normally closed contact from my counter done which will actually shut my motor off now let's go ahead and change this name here file download so now start this my conveyor runs that activates it once twice three times four oh, must have been five sorry okay now my lights on and my conveyor is no longer running 
okay so I actually have to activate and reset that counter before I can start the conveyor up again and allow this to start counting okay and this is an example of how we can use the done bit off of a counter to control an output uh, multiple outputs in many cases um, especially for packaging machines or anytime a uh, product needs to be tracked counters the count up is very very useful alright well I hope this gave you a quick introduction to counters